Am I rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. All right, sorry about this. Oh, my nose is so stuffy. Guys, it's time for another animation video. Sorry if this is getting a little... Um, what are you saying? Sorry if I had noise in the background, by the way. It's probably just something somewhere else. But here we go, guys. I'm going to post that, but I'm not going to do that. All right, guys. So, now it's time to tell you guys the story. What story was I going to tell? Oh, no. Did I just forget what story I was going to tell? Sorry, I think I may have forgotten. Oh, yeah. I remember now. So, let's think about how old am I now, right? Well, I am dun, 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 11. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. It's a really sweet number. Also, it's the, number, oh, it's the same number of someone's name who likes waffles. But that's beyond, that's beyond the point. But that's what I used to be like when I... That's how I am now, but let's go back in the past. Back when I was five. When I was five, I was kind of, uh, how do you say, unintelligent. I remember one time, this is the story by the way. I was stepping off my bus, my school bus, not, uh, my parents didn't let me ride the bus by myself. This looks horrible, by the way. I'm so bad at drawing. And the, bu and the bus driver doesn't know my name's Aiden. He thinks it's Joel, which is technically my first name, but I hate that name. So, but I didn't tell him that I like being called Aiden. So he thinks the only Aiden on the bus is this other kid named Aiden. But spelled a different way. So I walk home. Dun, 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 dun. But when I open the door, my mom's not there. So um, as a five year old, I'm kind of like, my mom isn't anywhere nearby. So I don't know what to do. But I do what any reasonable five year old would do get out the phone. And call 911. Do that nine wrong, by the way. But, um, okay. Maybe not every reasonable kid would do this, but after I couldn't get any reception, probably because I was trying to call them an iPad that was dead, I had to resort to other matters. So I decided to leave my house. I went to the only other place I knew would be okay my friend Ashton's house. I'm not, I'm not very good at drawing. So this is supposed to be Ashton when, I, when he was younger. There's Ashton. Me and him were friends, but also, he was, he's also friends with the other Aiden. Mm-hmm. So, a little backstory on the story. Um, even though this is a backstory. Let's forget that all of this happened. Bye-bye, five-year-old me. So, let's look at the image I did earlier backwards. Super bad bus. There it is. And there's me getting off it. There I go, walking away. But I don't look behind me. What I don't know is my mom is right over there waiting for me. But she didn't see me either. She was busy looking at her phone just for a minute because my dad sent her my dad was trying to call her. So So after after I was well gone. She went over and asked the bus driver. No, I made her hair look bad. She walked over and asked the bus driver, where's Aiden? And I don't remember what the bus driver looked like. Let's just draw him like that. The bus driver, remember how I said I didn't tell him my name was Aiden? So he was thinking of the other Aiden. And the other Aiden just so happened to get off at Ashton's stop. But while he was telling her this, I was busy trying to call 911 at, at our house. So she went over to Ashton's house, but as I, as, but she, what she didn't expect is that, um, I wasn't there. Ashton seemed confused. He said Aiden never came here. He knew she was talking about me, Aiden, not the other Aiden. So she was left without a single lead where I was. And this is the crazy part of the story. So, she started driving back home to check if I was there. 
So, she drove home in her car that looks conveniently like a bus. And, when I was walking to Ashton's house, we completely just passed roads. And none of us saw each other. But at this point, once my mom had left, I was left alone. And I didn't see her pass. So, um, well, this part's a little embarrassing. I just cried. I straight up cried on the street. I just cried out like, ah! Because I literally thought there was no hope. But then I walked to Ashton's house. And we'll continue our story back from my point of view. I just brought my mom's car back. My mom came to the house and she found the iPad on the ground and she thought something happened to me. So she went over to Ashton's butt. And she was going to go look for me somewhere else. Maybe even call the police. But at this time, I was already in Ashton's house hanging out with him. Even though I was kind of crying the whole time and he was trying to watch Pokemon. I mean, literally, he was just going, well, I was crying over there. Ashton was just hanging out on the TV watching Pokemon. He didn't even care about his crying friend. I mean, he's still my good friend, but, I mean, you should really pay more attention. I'm crying over here. But, anyway, soon after all this happened, my I was still crying, but then, out of nowhere, my mom appears because Ashton's mom calls my mom. And she's right there, smiling as big as she could, because she's happy she found me. And, well, my face is kind of, uh, well, this will help describe it. There you go. I'm <laughs> just kind of, yeah. But that's enough about that story. I'm so glad you guys were watching this video. This was actually a really, this was a true story, by the way. I don't have any pictures, but... Um, thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'm going to actually start doing this permanently as, like, a side thing with my other videos. So, I'm trying to make it look like smile happy. That looes so creepy. I'm going to have to come up with a better, egg, um, what's, uh, I don't remember the word, a better outro than this, because this is, um, a bad one. But, guys, bye. Bye. And see... You, ugh, this is getting tiring. Bye, guys.